Your scent, your touch is all I dream of Now I can't live without you I hope you feel it too Cause we are meant to be We are meant to be Oh, if only you could see That we are meant to be Some obsess about things Some turn use into abuse And I'll stop until it's too late But all I do is love you Maybe someday you will too Cause we Warned about me. You've heard that all I do is obsess about you. But if only you could see that we are meant to be. You've heard that all I do is obsess about you. But if only you could see. Good morning. It is Sunday. So we are doing a little Sunday recent vlog. Hang out with me today. Just got myself ready. Got up at five. Did a little walkie walk on the walking pad so I can get everything done in a timely manner today. I've got a lot of things to do actually on my list. So I had to start super early. I'm going to make breakfast for everybody. Then we're going to head to the grocery store. And then I have to, an appointment with my BFF KT. We have a Zoom meeting we'll catch up our monthly scheduled chat so hang out with us on this busy busy sunday reset which is always dangerous territory. So who knows if we'll even leave this grocery store with meals to eat or just ingredients. I guess it's choose your own adventure, see where we end up. Okay, we are headed to a cafe called Gravity. Take two. Yesterday I was supposed to have this little Zoom call with Kate. Um, at least I thought so. And then I tried to call her and she's like, 
I'm on a plane, you mother trucker. Like, what is your deal? I got the day wrong. So, take two. Here we go. To gravity. I'm like, booking it though, because I'm going to be late. I'm going to get myself all set up and situated. You have no idea how badly I need this caffeine. I did not sleep at all last night. Then got myself out of bed at five to start walking. Otherwise, I wasn't going to get all my stuff done for the day. So... And I haven't had any coffee yet. The only thing I had was my breakfast that I made. I didn't have anything to drink because I knew I was coming here. So have you ever felt like so tired that you literally feel it in the bags under your eyeballs? Like you can feel the tired under your eyes? That's me out here fighting for my life. I haven't warned about you. They said that just one look and I'd get caught too. There's something about you And you know it too All I do is think about you Your eyes, your scent, your touch Is all I dream So I need to get some more foam pads to go underneath my walking pad to make sure that I'm not disturbing the people below us. So then we'll just see what other kind of fun things I can find while I'm there. Had a great little chat session with Kate Hay. A great little catch up. She was just in New Orleans for four days. Party animal. She was there for a teacher's conference. Had a good, good session. I think we chatted for a little over two hours. Can I just say, so Kate has been my friend for the longest time. We've been friends since I say first grade because that's when we started Girl Scouts together. Being friends long distance sucks for one and for two it sucks because like I miss having the friendship where you just hang out. You live close to each other. You hang out and I know literally everything about your day to day instead of having to do these giant just like info dumps every once a month. I am really making it a priority that we have these Zooms once a month, especially since we are moving again um, in August and we will not be close to KT still. And it's one of like, she's one of my most important, I would say, relationships that I have and I want to keep fostering that. So I don't know, it's just like so weird it is just so weird like you went from being this like was the person that you see every single day all like we would literally spend all of our time together we worked together we went to school together we did all of our after school activities were together like all of those things and then all of a sudden you guys just are not around each other all of the time anymore and it's just such a different dynamic i just miss it i miss just having a friend that you just do everything with you know so i really want her to move <laughs> when we're done with the military i keep trying to convince her that she needs to move where we will be settling down in a few years so like i think it's fair that i'm giving her a four, a five year like warning like i know where i'm gonna be in five years you be there too i don't think it's that hard so, like she has a family <laughs> and a job <laughs> but like honestly there are jobs other and houses where i'm moving you know but anyway that's that but i am not headed down to daiso to see what they've got popping over there i think i need to like pick up some more things for like storage in our house too like everything's just getting so cluttered because nothing has like a true place in this house even though we're moving in like six ish months better late than never i say daiso hall this is what i was went in looking for giant two pieces of foam to go on underneath the four corners of the walking pad to just reinforce that it is as quiet as possible. Then I got this giant bag because <laughs> the cashier 
insisted on like taking me at the actual cash register instead of the self checkout and i don't know enough korean to like not make that happen and so she's checking things out really quickly and i she didn't ask if i wanted a bag so i just grabbed behind me the first bag that i saw the reusable ones so here it is it says fresh times love yourself life is way too short to spend another day at war with yourself with a bunch of sheep so inside the bag i got myself a foam roller because she's an athlete now i got four of these glass containers because the this is the size that i use all the time i've only got like six of them and they're constantly in use so i was like i'll get these ones for 2001 instead of the pyrex ones for a gazillion dollars well they're they're not a gazillion dollars they're like 20 i think 20 dollars for a four pack and they're glass love that for us then i got three different types of ice trays not for me but for like sensory stuff with luca to sort things so this little one this big one and this medium sized one and then for Luca's Valentine's Day, I got him two monster trucks. One looks like Buzz Lightyear and one's just like yellow. Because one of our babysitters, she brought over monster trucks and he was obsessed with them. So I was like, oh, I'll just grab some of these. They're 5,000 wands, like $3 if they break or get lost. Not a big deal. This is also going to be part of his Valentine's Day. Little thing and then I've seen um these like toddler games on Pinterest where you use painters tape and a muffin tin and then you you like put them in the little animals in jail and they have to rescue them so I got him little animals so we could do one of those and that's the haul babe that's it so next on my agenda laundry meal preps then make some dinner Miguel's got to go over to Enmart to get a few extra, few more things for dinner, but then we're rolling, baby. Luca's still down for a nap, and that's the tea. officially meal prep time getting things ready to make my life easier for the rest of the week so tonight for dinner i'm making the this like one sheet chickpea feta that i make a lot for our family i've started splitting it into two smaller containers so i can have one in the fridge just like ready to go and then what i make for today is enough for two and a quarter of us <laughs> that eats it also i'm gonna make that now because luca and mike went outside to go run around for about an hour and i'm gonna let that marinate it tastes better when it's been sitting in the fridge for a few hours before we decide to bake it and then i've been making these tahini cookies that i really enjoy it's always nice to have those as like a sweet treat option oh and then also i've been making these bean and egg burritos in the morning with my low carb tortillas for like a low carb, high protein option for breakfast. I've been forcing myself to eat breakfast, which I don't know if like, I love for me, cause I feel like on the scale, it's just doing the opposite of what I would like it to be doing, but I'm gonna give it some time, see how things shake out, if it continues to like, really keep creeping and creeping and creeping and creeping up something's gonna have to shake it up but i've been walking on my walking pad for like three hours a day lately my goal is like minimum i want to be doing two hours of walking on the walking pad so at least two sessions of walking 
on like really good days, I would love to, I like to do the three. And an hour just like flies by as I'm like watching Married to Medicine, catching up with my Bravo gals, you know? I just started watching Married to Medicine and Dr. Jackie, Dr. Simone and Dr. Heavenly are so fucking funny. And I also, I really love Toya. They're all my faves. Most of their cast is still the OGs 10 years later. That's craziness to me. I did not like Dr. Heavenly when she first came on her first season in season two, but now I think she's absolutely hilarious. Whenever she like gets into a confrontation and a husband tries to step in, she goes, I don't speak to men. So if you have a problem, please take that up with my husband. I'm not speaking like to you take it somewhere else and she gives like the funniest reads in her confessionals <laughs> but people are like have a problem because she like she really overshares and says some like pretty mean things on her youtube channel when people ask her questions about her castmates it's a bit bonkers what she's allowed to get away with i've been really enjoying them if you're not a married to medicine type of gal i suggest you like get into it it's totes worth it without further ado i should get the show on the road so let's go wash our hands and get prepping <laughs> right as I'm opening these chickpeas. So now I'm gonna have to like clamp it one at a time. I caramba, I tell you what. But she keeps it moving. Hello. Shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Ramona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know It is marinating in the fridge. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the tahini cookies and those can bake while I make the bean burritos, the bean and egg breakfast burritos, because those take forever because I measure things out in that one because I wanna make sure I know exactly how much I'm eating. You know, fitness journey tings. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I just cleaned up, did all the dishes so I can make an even bigger mess and start over. I usually make these into cookies, but I'm out of aluminum foil, so I'm just gonna make them into like bars. I've got like a brownie pan and I think that's just what I'll use. I also, while I was doing the dishes, I switched over from watching my Bravo girls to just listening to music and I've been listening on repeat for months now. <laughs> just the same song by Anson Zebra, Heartbreak Souvenirs. So if you want a new jam, there you have it. That's all I listen to right now. Anybody else do that? Comment down below if you're the type of person that like listens to the same thing over and over and over again until you hate it and then you have to find a new favorite song and then you listen to that over and over and over again until you hate it. Just me? I don't think so. I think there's a lot of us that are like that. So let's make these cookies.
would be this Sunday. There were a few more things I wanted to get done this evening, but I am literally out here fighting for my life trying to stay awake. So it's early bedtime for me, you guys. I'm going to read a few more pages of my book as I finish this gorgeous tea from Big Heart tea co i believe in missouri this one is called cozy cabin nights i think and it is delicious been really enjoying their teas not sponsored at all just a small business that i love women run women owned small business i will link it down in the description below i'm having a bit of a breakout on my face i'm not sure what that is so i put some pimple patches on after I did my skincare. I'm not sure if that's because I can feel my oil therapy kind of like working and I, I wonder if that's causing part of this situation. Yeah, that's that. So thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for spending this Sunday with me. And if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to like this video, share this video with anybody who you think would like this content. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do so. I would love to have you along on this YouTube journey. I put out new videos every week. Other ways that you can support this channel, I have set up a buy me a coffee page. I will put that QR code down here and the link down below in the description box. So if you would like to donate there, that would be amazing. That's how I can keep this channel running. I believe that's that, you guys. Happy Sunday, happy weekend, happy whatever day it is that you come across this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.